Hi, I'm Dwayne Gleason, Product Manager for Trimble Buildings, and today I want to talk to you about Document Controller. This is going to be the second of a 10-part video series on the program, and today is really important because you're going to learn how to create the data set for the first time. I'll show you how to create a file and navigate to the document register. We'll check out the document control ribbon that includes all the buttons and functionality you'll need to use the program. And then we'll learn how to add folders and versions for organizing your inputs. And we'll even check out our first 2D document within the program. After this video, you should know everything you'll need to to get started with creating your own data set inside of Document Controller. Let's check it out. We'll begin by creating a project here in our dashboard. To do so, we choose the New Project icon up top. Next, we'll navigate to the document register using the workflow panel on the left. Now we can see the document register along with all of the applicable ribbon commands along the top. Hovering over a ribbon command for one second will show you a tooltip that explains each button. We begin creating the data structure by clicking on the new folder icon within the ribbon. Let's give this new folder a name, 2D Drawings, and a description contract documents. We can create a subfolder by clicking on the parent folder and choosing new subfolder from the ribbon. Again we'll give it a name, architecture, and we'll explain which documents are included within it. Now I'm going to add another subfolder for my plumbing trade drawings. To expand the data set further, I'm going to start to add versions to my drawing releases. I'll do that by clicking the Add Version button up here in the ribbon and giving the version a name, such as 35% Construction Documents. I'll also include some information about when it was released. Choose the Select Files button to begin populating the version. Here, I'll just grab a drawing from my desktop and import it. Hit OK, and notice that a plus sign comes next to the architectural folder, allowing me to expand. The green box shows me that I have a new drawing in the 35% release. Choose View Documents from the top, and use the standard navigation tools at the bottom to pan around or zoom in more closely and take a look at the drawing. To return to my document register, I'll choose the Document Controller View Set tab from up top. Now, I want to delete this single drawing, and I'll do that from the ribbon. This time, I want to add multiple drawings from my architectural release. So I'll navigate to the folder, and multi-select all of the architectural drawings that were part of the 35% construction release. When I choose OK, it imports all of them into the database. Now when I expand the architectural folder, I can see all of the drawings from the 35% release listed together inside of the document register. I can right click on any drawing and choose View. Notice that it's opening up different view sets at the top. I can use those view sets individually to view a sheet, and I can also use them to return to the document register. Next. I'll add the files that were part of my 35% construction document plumbing release. Multi-select all of the files and choose open. Hit OK through the import dialog and again all of the drawings will be imported into the document register. Again I can select a drawing to view it. Notice that it's creating new tabs at the top for the individual pages that I'm viewing. When I'm done looking at a page, I can right click and choose close. I can always return back to my document register. Another way to view drawings is by drag and drop from the register into the active view. Here, I'll bring over one of, our, one of our plumbing drawings. I can zoom in close to the core area 
and check out some of the dimensions. When I'm done, I can choose Zoom Extents to return to a full view, and now I'm going to close this view set because I no longer need it. And that's how we get started building the data set in Document Controller. Join us in the next video where we show you how to expand that data set even further. So that's it for part two of our video series on Document Controller. I hope that you now feel more comfortable on creating the data set and you can build one for yourself. Remember when you do that we created folders, subfolders, and versions for organizing our information and then we learned how to import the drawings into the document register. From there, we learned how to navigate the drawings and if you join us in the next video, we'll show you how to add additional versions and tags or metadata for sorting and grouping large data sets in Document Controller. Catch you next time.